Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are doing my not so scary a thon announcement video. So, just in case you don't know, Not So Scary a Thon is my fall Halloween themed read a thon. It is based on like not so scary books, but you can still read like vampires and monsters and witches and all that goodness. I just don't aim for like Stephen King style like intense gore, but spooky, fall, atmospheric, magical woods, all those kinds of things are perfect. So, this is a two week read a thon that runs September 20th through October 3rd. Third, I believe. So it'll be a Monday through a Monday and we're going all out for this one. It's similar to Mermaid Marathon so I will have a lot of great content coming your way. One quick disclaimer first. Tip a little backdrop really quick to kind of block off my fall shelves. So this is kind of going to be in between my fall content and my Halloween content which will be closer towards the end of September and this will not be the decorations but I wanted to kind of give you those like spooky Halloween style vibes. Quick explanation there because you'll be seeing this for this video as well as my TBR video I believe and then back to fall videos and then Halloween stuff coming out towards the end of the month. So just a little disclaimer there. So I am so excited for this readathon. Fall is one of my favorite times of the year. Last year I really used fall and Halloween to kind of bring my spirits up and end the year a lot better than it had started. I just put all my focus on to like fall food and decorating, trading books with friends and like all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll be doing a lot of that for this readathon. Like all of my readathons, you can basically take them as whatever you want to do. I have readathon challenges, which I'll talk about here in a second. I also have Instagram challenges, uh, seven for each week that you can take photos and share them on Instagram. Be sure and follow me at The Bright Side Girl as I will be posting a ton of stuff on there before and after the readathon all festive and themed and super fun. You can also click the hashtag, which will be hashtag not so scary a thon and make a lot of friends that way and see who's participating. And we had a great time on there sharing things both on our regular feeds and on our stories. I will be doing at least one Halloween fall book and bookmark themed giveaway, maybe two, depending on what I can kind of come up with. Um, so be sure to follow me on there to learn all the information about that. And if you want to follow along with the Instagram challenge, which I think are really, really, really fun. But for now, we are just going to talk about the readathon challenges. So, of course, I will be vlogging for both weeks of Not So Scary Athon. I'll have two separate vlogs coming out. You do not have to vlog to participate, you don't even have to be on Instagram or anything. You can just read for the week and let me know in the comments if you want to to have some fun but I will be vlogging and doing a lot of these challenges as many as I can so I put more challenges in this year since it is going to be a two-week readathon instead of a one week uh, but you don't have to do them all you don't have to do any of them it's just it's just there for fun so a lot of the challenges are going to be similar to last year so challenge number one is going to be a read a book with fall colors so you can do fall colors like orange yellow white or you can also do like Halloween colors like black green, purple, things like that, whatever you want to do. Challenge number two is going to be read a book set at school. Usually there's some good fall atmospheric vibes with books that are set around school time because it starts like in end of August, September. And you can do a magical school if you kind of want to add a bonus twist to this. I'm thinking about possibly doing like truly devious and things like that. There are so many good like dark academia or just like regular school setting books as well. Challenge number three is read a book set or around the woods or a forest. Um, I think I have some recommendations for this on last year's video that I'll link up here in the cards for you guys. Um, but there are so many books that have like a magical woodsy type setting that they're one of my favorite things to read in the fall time to give me all the feels. Challenge number four is to read a not so scary Halloween book. So something with like a vampire or monster or witch or something like that. Really anything works for this category and it can be slightly spooky. I just don't like to pick things that are like truly terrifying. <laughs> just something kind of like a little bit more intense is kind of fun to read this time of year. Challenge number five is to read a vampire book. Um, vampires seem to be kind of back in style now. We've got Empire or the vampire coming out and a bunch of other new vampire books. I'll be having a vampire recommendations video hopefully before the readathon but if not it'll be like during the readathon uh, coming out as well so stay tuned for that but any kind of vampire read will work. Challenge number six is a physical challenge so read by a candle or a fireplace 
or you can even read by a fake fireplace like a YouTube ambiance. I really like those during this time of year. I'll link a couple of my favorites down below where it just puts like a fall atmosphere on your TV while you're reading. They work really great and they just make you feel so cozy. Challenge number seven is also a physical challenge, so consume a fall treat. This can be something that you make at your house or something that you purchase. It could be a pumpkin spice latte, it could be some pumpkin cookies, some pumpkin bread, some butternut squash soup, something savory, whatever you want to come up with, but I just thought that was a fun challenge. Of course, I'll be consuming things like all week long. <laughs> Challenge number eight is do a fall themed activity. So like going to look at Halloween houses, which might be a little bit tricky because we're doing this towards the end of September, but if they happen to be already decorated near you, you could go and check them out. Or you could um, go to a pumpkin patch or apple picking or just going to get a pumpkin spice latte. You could go Halloween hunting and just go to stores and look for Halloween decor. That's something fun that I've been doing recently. You could carve pumpkins at home. You could do a Halloween themed puzzle or a Halloween craft. That would be fun as well. Whatever you can come up with. Challenge number 10 is to read a villainous backstory or origin story. Last year I had this to be a Disney villain, but this year I made it a little bit more broad so you can basically read a book that's about an unlikable character or a famous villain. You're learning like the background on them. I tend to really like these style of books. I'll try to recommend you guys some down below in the comments, but I'll also have some in my TBR video as well. And then the last challenge is another physical challenge and it's my absolute favorite and I really encourage you to participate even if you feel like you can't or you're not sure. It's to make a Halloween fort. So I follow Angie Belmar here on YouTube and she does a not so scary Halloween party on her YouTube channel. And in case you didn't know, the not so scary is after Disney. So Disney has a not so scary Halloween thing. So a lot of people do like not so scary things. So this is my reading version of it. But she does this amazing Halloween fort almost every year and watches like Halloween movies in it. We're both adults. We both don't have kids. It's just super fun. Put a bunch of couches or chairs together get some Halloween blankets and pillows, get a Halloween snack, and watch a Halloween movie. It was probably one of my most favorite things that I did last year. I just had such a great time and I can't wait to make it even better this year. So I encourage you to do it even if you don't have a lot of the supplies. Just get creative, do something small, it's just something kind of fun to kind of read in or watch a movie. I will link Angie's videos down below as well as my vlog from last year where I included the Halloween fort as well because it's so fun and I hope you participate. This is also one of the Instagram challenges. So that is it for the reading challenges. The Instagram challenges will be posted here pretty soon on Instagram, so be sure and follow me on there and then you can kind of get a little bit of a plan for what you want to do if you want to take some pictures to post or just plan out your like activities in the week and all that jazz. Obviously you should have fun with this. Do as little or as much as you want. You don't have to do anything to participate other than read a book, preferably a fall themed book, but you don't even have to do that. Just a fun way to make some friends, have our minds turn towards the positive Positive, something festive and colorful. You know I'm normally the bright side girl, but around Halloween and fall I turn slightly darker and more festive and it's just so much fun. I am filming so many festive fun videos for you guys, so I hope that you're ready. They're both bookish and non-bookish related videos because I just absolutely love like being festive from now until Christmas time or even until New Year's. It's just my absolute favorite, so I'll be living my best life <laughs> from here on out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you're participating down below in the comments. Be sure and tag me if you do wind up vlogging or um, doing things on Instagram so that I can see and connect with you guys and have a nice little chat. Stay tuned for my Not So scary -thon TBR video, which should be up in a week or less. And I will post all of the videos from last year and the Halloween playlist as well. So you guys can check all of that out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time on The Bright Side. Bye!